Hello, hello, hello. This is Garden Talk Jamaican. Just want to share an idea with you that you maybe can use to make raised beds without having to spend a lot of money. This raised bed is 14 by 3, 3 feet wide, 14 feet long. And I use 12 by 12 stepping stones that I bought from the box stores with stakes and I made this bed. So let me give you a close up. After I made the bed, I dug down into the soil a little deeper to give me some more depth of about 14 inches. How I did this, I laid the blocks in, I made shallow trenches of about, you know, three inches deep. Then I buried the blocks up to about that three inches and I used the stakes to keep them firm in the ground. And they are pretty sturdy. They do remain a long time without any problems of falling down even when it rains. I've done the same thing for my, 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 the other sections of my garden because I do live on a slope. And what I've done is I've terraced every plot that I use to plant, you know, like my tomato plot, my pepper plot. It's all terraced with the same stepping stones and um, right down the hill because it's really hilly in my backyard. So this is what this raised bed looks like. Trying to go out a little bit that you can see it the full extent of it. This is what it looks like. Right? It's a lot of work to do it, but it is worth it because when you make raised beds from wood, eventually the wood rots. And to me, yeah, I'm not into doing that. I would rather either have metal raised beds or raised beds like this that never, you know, rots. Huh? And here it is, it's pretty long. I'm gonna plant a lot of potatoes in this one. And uh, as I said, I dug somewhat deeper and now I am filling the raised bed with uh, cardboard and cuttings from you know, like I'm going to have a lot of potato cuttings and that sort of thing. So I'm filling it with that. And I'm going to, um, as soon as the leaves begin to fall from the trees really good, I am going to crush the leaves with my lawn mower. You know, just crush them, put on the bag and crush the leaves and begin to fill it up and put some grass in there. And every little thing that I can put that can break down later on as mulch. And um, actually, I am going to also use, do this in the Ruth Stout, Stout. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? Ruth Stout method. I am going to use straw. I'm going to put my straw before I plant the potatoes. I'm going to put my straw, um, you know, this year so that it begins to break down that I do not have to use that nitrogen to break the straw down. Uh-uh, don't want to do that. I don't think I, I should be using nitrogen to break, break my straw down when I am going to be planting potatoes. This is what it looks like on this side. Here's a close up, right? Here's a close up and let me go out of it. That, that, that's about it. That's it. So maybe this is an idea you can use to, to, to make your raised bed without having to spend a whole lot of money. As you can see, I do have a lot of cardboard in it. There you go. Oh, way out. Here we go. So I hope this is useful to you. Have a wonderful day. And happy planning for planting in the spring. Bye-bye.